going on guys it's the evening of august 18th i'm out here on some public land this evening I'm gonna scout this dove field and probably do a little deer scouting too um, just got out here i think it's like six o'clock so almost up to the dove field you're gonna see if they're flying uh, i believe in this field it's they've got corn and wheat planted so see what it looks like hopefully get our eyes on some doves maybe a couple deer who knows we'll see stay tuned all right guys just got out here to the dove field um, got over on the west side here so i could be in the shade so not sure if you can tell but they've got this field planted in a strip of wheat and then corn and then another strip of wheat so um, right now the wheat is still standing like i said it's only august 18th so i'd imagine probably the week of the opener uh, they'll come out here and mow it down so this is probably the earliest i've scouted a dove field and the corn's only about knee high so i don't know if that's normal for a dove field like you know obviously they planted it late i don't know if their game plan is to you know they're not gonna harvest that or anything they're gonna let that grow so I just don't know if it'll be tall enough to sit in come dove season here. So we'll have to wait and see. But typically I like sitting in the tree lines anyways. And I'm just kind of looking around and I know you can't see it. I'll probably show it later here, but when I come out and scout these fields, I'm looking for nice roosting trees for these doves and I probably should have brought the bug spray. I don't think I have any with me. But I can already see a couple over here in this eastern tree line. And I noticed walking in, there's one or two down here on this tree line too. So like I said, if I sit in the tree line or even if I sit in the corn, I'm gonna wanna sit kind of right in between those trees. So yeah this is the second dove field i've come out to this year the first one was one that me and matt hunted uh, last year and got absolutely piled up in doves so probably wouldn't limit it out if we were better shots but so yeah i'm gonna hang out here pray to god i got some bug spray because if i don't i might not be here very long so We'll see, see if anything's flying. All right, guys, I just got back out here. I had to run into town and get some bug spray. Mosquitoes were killing me, but came back out to the same field. Um, just came a little further down, maybe about halfway, um, right where these dead trees are at. I don't know if you can see back behind me, there's about three of them right there. I got one right here and then one right here back behind me. I don't know if the mic's picking it up, but there's a dove cooing right over here. So, all right, now I'm back. We're going to hang tight. That was a dove, it's not. But we're gonna hang tight here for an hour or so. See what's flying, so stay tuned. All right, guys. Right there. That little white spot is a dove. He just flew north 
or south to north through the field. That's about the sixth one that I've seen. So, they're in here. Not as many as I'd be hoping to see, but we're gonna hang tight for a little longer. Activity's starting to pick up now that that sun's going down, so. Stay tuned. Okay, just shut the camera off for a minute. Another one flew. Would that be north to south? Here comes another one. It just kind of paired up right there. So they just landed out there in the wheat. And I was actually just thinking down at that end would probably be your best bet. There's a nice group of dead trees right there at the uh, south end of the field. You can sit up in that corner like on the west side or even the east side now because it's nice and shaded so but yeah that's about the seventh and eighth dove that i've seen like i said that sun's going down the activity's picking up a little better so hopefully these new mics are working out we got a pair of wireless mics now, so pretty excited to try those out this year. But if I see any more, I'll try to film them. That's a nice buck. 